If you remember not too long ago, I rebuilt the cross slide from a piece of thick steel plate. Not only did it make it a lot more rigid, but it also had a set of T-slots which the original cross slide did not. And if you've probably seen, the T-slots allow me to move the tool post around the cross slide to better suit the work that I'm doing, for example doing large diameter work or boring. Now at the time, I made a temporary riser block from a piece of aluminium because it's all I had to work with. And given that it's been almost a year, I think it's about time to replace it. I'm also going to replace the threaded rod with a proper stud, which might make it a little bit more rigid. I'm going to start by machining the riser block, which I'll cut from a piece of hot rolled steel. With the riser block now done, I'll machine the stud for the tool post.
and that is the job done. As for overall rigidity, I'm not sure if I can notice any increase. I'm sure there is something in it, but it's not too noticeable. It's definitely a lot nicer than the old riser block, and because it's made from steel, it's going to be a bit more durable. It's also a lot nicer having the tool post fixed in place with the starter. It's better than it being able to move around like it used to. And that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.